Hi, welcome to Couserwise channel. This is the continuation video of cash flow statement. In the previous video, we have seen calculation of net profit before tax and extraordinary items. You can find the links in the description box. Also, you can find the links for various topics on various subjects over there. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the further notification of my new uploads. In this video, we are going to see calculation of operating profit before changes in working capital. Now, let's get into the video. Let's get into the video. See, this is the format of cash flow statement indirect method. Okay. We have seen this format in detail in the first video. You can find the links in the description box. See, in this format, the first starting point is net profit before tax and extraordinary item. Okay, this is the starting point. With this only you can prepare cash flow statement. Okay, in order to find out net profit before tax and extraordinary item, we need to do some adjustments that we have discussed in the previous video that you can find out the link in the description box. Okay, so this is the starting point. After that, you have to do various adjustments. Okay, in cash flow statement, we have three major components. What are the three major components? Number one, net cash flow from operating activities. Number two, net cash flow from investing activities. Number three, net cash flow from financing activities. These are the three major components. Okay. The first component is cash flow from operating activities. Okay. So, in order to find out the operating activities, again you have to do three major adjustments. See the first adjustment. Adjustment for non-cash and non-operating items. Okay. So, here we are going to do some adjustments regarding non-cash and non-operating expenses or incomes. All the non-operating expenses need to be added back and all the non-operating incomes need to be subtracted. Okay. These are the various adjustments related to non-cash and non-operating items. So, after doing the first adjustment, the second adjustment is adjustment for gain or loss on sale of assets and investment. In case of any loss or gain on sale of asset and investment, you have to do the proper adjustment. In case of loss, simply add. In case of gain, simply subtract. Okay. So, these are the two adjustments regarding gain or loss on sale of assets and investment. So, after doing the two major adjustments, you will be getting operating profit before changes in working capital. The last third component is change in working capital that is current assets and current liabilities. Okay. So, before considering this, if you get any operating profit, that profit is called operating profit before changes in working capital. So, in this video, we are going to see one numerical problem in order to find out operating profit before changes in working capital. So, in this problem, we are not going to consider current assets and current liabilities. Okay. So, without considering this, how to calculate operating profit that we are going to see in this video. Let us see the numerical problem. See the problem. Computation of operating profit before working capital changes. Okay, here from the following details, compute operating profit before working capital changes. Okay, in this problem, we don't have any current assets and current liabilities. So, we are not going to do any changes in working capital. So, before doing working capital changes, what is the operating profit that we are going to calculate with this numerical problem? See the first one, net profit before tax and extraordinary item. This is the starting point for fund flow statement. Okay, so generally, if the item is not given means you have to do some calculation in order to find out the net profit before tax and extraordinary items. In this problem, they have given directly. So, you can take the value as it is. Okay. For this calculation, you can refer the previous video. Okay. So, here they have given directly. You can take the value as it is. Then the next one is dividend received on long term investment. So, this one is non-operating income because dividend is received from investment, not from your operation, not from your own business. So, this is the non-operating income. 
this amount need to be subtracted. Okay. The next one, interest received on long term investment. This is also similar because you have received interest from investment. That is, you have invested outside the business. This is income not from your business. So, this one is non-operating income. So, this amount need to be subtracted. The next one, goodwill return off. So, this is non-cash expenses or non-cash expense. Okay. So, this amount is not going to, this transaction is not going to reduce your cash. Okay. So, this amount need to be added back. That is non-cash expenses. The next one, discount on issue of shares return off. This is also non-operating otherwise non-cash transaction need to be added back. The next one, preliminary expense return off. This is also non-cash or non-operating expense. So, need to be added back. The next one, depreciation charge on fixed assets. This is also non-cash expense. So, this amount need to be added back. So, these are the non-operating expenses need to be added back. The next one, profit on sale of equipment. This is also non-operating income. Okay. So, non-operating income need to be subtracted. The last one, loss on sale of long-term investment. Okay. This is also non-operating expense. This amount need to be added back. Okay. So, these are the items we have identified. Non-operating expenses and income. Accordingly, you have to do the proper adjustment in order to find out the operating profit before working capital changes. Okay. Now, let us see the solution. See the solution. Computation of operating profit before working capital changes. The starting point is net profit before tax and extraordinary item. So, the starting point is given in the problem. Simply you can enter the value. Look at the problem. Net profit before tax and extraordinary items 2,50,000. See the solution. We have entered net profit before tax and extraordinary items 2,50,000. The next step is see the problem. So, these are the various non-operating expenses and incomes. And the last two items are profit or loss on sale of investment and assets. Okay. So, these are the two major adjustments are there. First, we are going to add and subtract non-operating and non-cash transactions. Okay. See the solution. First, we need to do the first adjustment. Adjustment for non-cash and non-operating items. So, we need to add non-operating expenses and we need to subtract non-operating income. That is the first adjustment. Okay. Look at the problem. First, we need to add all the non-operating and non-cash expenses. Okay. See here, what are the non-operating expenses and non-cash items? Goodwill return off. Okay. 20,000. The next one, discount on issue of shares return off 5,000. Preliminary expense return of 25,000. Depreciation 50,000. So, these are the non-operating and non-cash expenses. So, these items need to be added back. Okay. Now, see the solution. See the solution. We have entered all the non-operating and non-cash expenses. Okay. Now, simply add these items. 20,000 plus 5,000 plus 25,000 plus 50,000. Total 1 lakh. So, add along with the net profit. Now, 3,50,000. Next, we need to subtract any non-operating incomes. Okay. See the problem. Here we have two non-operating incomes. The first one, dividend received 35,000. Interest received 25,000. These are the two items need to be subtracted. Okay. See the solution. Non-operating income need to be subtracted. 35,000 plus 25,000. How much? 60,000. So, 60,000 minus. From 3,50,000, you will be getting 2,90,000. Okay. So, first adjustment is over. We have adjusted non-cash and non-operating items. That is non-operating expenses added 
non operating incomes subtracted the net result is 290000 now we have to do the second adjustment second adjustment is gain or losses on sale of fixed assets and investment in case of any profit or loss on sale of assets or investment that has to be properly adjusted okay so gain need to be subtracted losses need to be added back that's all look at the problem here we have profit on sale of equipment and loss on sale of long term investment so profit need to be subtracted loss need to be added back okay see the solution we have done the second adjustment that is uh, loss on sale of long term investment added and profit on sale of equipment subtracted okay the final answer is 284000 this is the operating profit before working capital changes okay see the format so this is the way to calculate operating profit before changes in working capital in the next video we are going to see calculation of cash flow from operating activities in different scenarios you can find the links in the description box hope you like this video please hit the like comment subscribe and share with your friends thank you